Hi there, this is Casey Gutierrez from the Coco Daisy Planner team, and it is December 2018, and I'm gonna do a walkthrough of my planner setup using the planner kits, add-ons, and the Christmas kit. So first off, this is a B6 size traveler's notebook that I'm using to house. My mini happy planner. So it's not attached to the strings, it's just set in there. I think I could probably attach it, but I take it in and out so often. But this just allows it to be all contained. The biggest thing that I love is that I can carry a pen with me and I have like a little decorative opening page. And I can attach my charms to it. So that is what I'm using for this month and we'll walk through that in just a second. But we're gonna go through what's in my pouch. So these clear pouches are so cute. Mary Kay posted a video that they're a little bit tricky to zip, so let me show you the tip that she shared. And this is from Christine, the owner of Coco Daisy. If you hold your thumb here, right behind it, it zips easier. So I'll be carrying this in my purse. There's not a ton in here. So I have all the washi tape on a little ring. So I throw that in there. And I have stickers and pens, little red and green, and then I'll probably add a couple more pins in there. So not too much, keeps it nice and flat in my purse, um, but just enough to carry a few little goodies with me. So that's the pouch that came in the kit this month. So let's get started with the planner. I'm gonna take it out of the Traveler's Notebook cover just for the video. So I'm reusing, ignore that, I'll put something over that later. <laughs> so let's get started diving in here. So what I used was a B6 story, I cut it, trimmed the pages, actually just trimmed where the seam was and popped them in here. They fit, they're almost exactly the same size as the mini Happy Planner pages and it works out great. So that's the first page of the dory. These are what my planning pages look like. So this is the super mom layout. This is a happy planner that came out in the fall, I believe. It doesn't start till 2018, but I was able to use the circle stickers just to cover up the days. It has sort of a dashboard. These are all 2019. So it has this. Um, which I actually like using all these stickers, butter. So I made my own. Just line the side here with washi. I'll probably add a few more stickers. I like these um, box stickers that come in the sticker kit. And then just like a to-do list. I don't need it all separated. So this is, let's see, ignore 2019. I haven't decorated that far in advance. And then what I started doing was using some of the Dory pages just like as a bullet journal. So I've been reading the bullet journal book and I just wanted to do, try it out without having to get a whole new notebook. So you can see just a whole mess of things all in a couple pages. And then for this week, I'm getting a little bit more organized and I used the stamp to stamp December and then tomorrow's December 3rd. Use the time to list all the time stuff that we're gonna do. And then this is where I'll write notes, to-dos, all that fun stuff. So I line the sides with washi tape, all the ones that come with the various kits this month, just to play around with those and add some color to the pages. Flip through there. Still not ready to get rid of Betty and her coffee cup because she's adorable, so. Holding on to her. For the different tabs, I used the pad, this was my favorite pattern paper that came with the Christmas kit. So I used those pattern papers to make different dividers. So the first one is a to-do list, which let's not fool ourselves. There's a lot of stuff to do, but I just haven't sat down and thought about it yet. These are from me and my big ideas. They're page protectors. These I did just like some sample ideas of layouts. And I could put um, pictures in here later 
or just other little things from the kids. These are holiday recipes. A few things that I want to make. This coffee, this is my second favorite pattern paper. And then there was also a stamp that came with the kit and they fit perfectly on the tabs that come with the different kits. So this one I created like a little foundation page for myself to write a story about coffee. These are my kids' school pictures and the reason I need coffee. <laughs> Just kidding. I thought I would just pop those in there because they're cute. Christmas cards. I need to make a list of all the Christmas cards we're going to send. Party ideas. So we host Christmas Eve. So this will be just coming up with menus and there's not really a party plan. We just eat and sit around and visit. On the back of this one, the dividers that came with the Christmas kit, they're blank on the back, which I love so I can write notes. Or this one I just decorated. I love this little card and this gal. This one, these pattern papers are so cute. So this one I thought was like wintry. So the kids have a couple weeks off at of school. So different things that we want to do um, while they're off school. This is another one of the pocket pages that come with the Happy Planner. I just put some different things in there and I can add more later. This was the pattern paper that comes with the planner kit. Those are double sided. They have a little bit different of a look. So with Santa it says remember and this is where I'm going to do my advent devotional. And these are the dory pages. The back ones, the dot grid ones. I like writing on these. The, those are my favorite. The dot grid just works really well with my handwriting. So just doing December 1st, probably just through the 25th for Advent. I have not went through and dated them yet. So these I didn't trim here at all. All I did was cut down the middle and punch it with a Happy Planner disc pattern. And then I just added some of these extra graph ones back here. Gift ideas. My kids are getting a little bit older and can read, so I haven't written anything in here yet because I'm afraid they'll find it. So it's all in my head, which maybe not is a good place to keep a list. Again, these are just ready for stories. Holding these really pretty die cuts and embellishments. And these are extra pages that I punched to have in here in case they match with a story or I can add um, like these chipboards can be added on there just for a quick fun story or just decoration, something fun to create. The rest back here is just dot grid paper. And then this is the smaller pocket, adhesive pocket that came with the kit. I put the tag in here. I probably will just use this for a gift tag. I'm always out on the run and have a gift that I need to give and forget the tag for it. So that might be a good thing to have. And that is it. Of course, you could see that this cover may not be the best idea because things are upside down, but I love the black and white, and I like how it matches with the gold, how it matches with the black of the traveler's notebook, how it just fits really snugly. I don't know if that's a word, snugly. That's okay. I hope that you have a great month of December. I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody documents in December. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. It sounds like this song. But I love all these colors and the kits. Bright, vibrant, the little gals. Oh, I already used her. The little decorative gals that are in the die cuts. And this guy. So much fun. So have a great month. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there's something different that you wanna see, I would love to share with you. Thank you, take care.